All right, so now I'm going to get started on our fresh water from the tanks to our water pump. So what we got for that is uh, a Kamek 13 mil drinking hose. Uh, we could get it from any caravan store. So I think we got about 10 meters. Definitely don't need anywhere near that much, but I think that was the smallest roll that it came in. So we're just gonna use this between tanks and water pump. I then have all these bits that you can just get from any irrigation store. I got them from Bunnings. And I'm just gonna build a like corner and then a join so they'll come up from the tank through the corner and then they'll come out here and then that will go to the water pump. So these are just three quarter inch BSP. And then I also have 13 mil to three quarter inch BSP. I also have these 13 mil um, shutoff valves and I'll put one of them before each corner. That way I can isolate either tank if I need to. Just gonna put some thread tape around all of the joins. Uh, our plumber said make sure you don't get the white stuff. He recommended pink, uh, but we showed him the blue stuff and he said that's fine too. It says on the packet that it's half the durability and thickness of white tape. He said the white tape's no good. So let's see if I can build this. Closes it and opens it and closes it and opens it. So this is the water pump we got. Uh, Shell flow 4009 24 volt pump. It's really the only option we had at 24 volts. Uh, you can get a more powerful one at 12 volts. So this is 11.3 liters per minute. The other one is like 15 I think. But we think that 11.3 should be enough. Well we hope. So for warranty, you have to put one of these strainers on the inlet side. So the inlet's on the left. Uh, so I'm just going to, same thing, put some tape around it like we did with the, the other BSPs and put it on. All right, so I've just mounted this thing that I built here with these, uh, I don't know what they're called, mounting saddle. So I've just mounted them with these 32 mil mounting saddles. They're too small. They're sort of the biggest ones I could find buying them individually. I could only find bigger ones, you know, in packs of 10 or so, and I only wanted two. So I just thought I'd give them a go, but clearly they're too small. So I've just put them there now so I can work out my hose lengths and I'll buy some bigger ones like 40, 50 mil later. I've put two holes in the floor to run our freshwater connections up. So here's one that will go to tank number one. So I've just put a, you know, a hose clamp on the end. I'll fit it to that, clamp it on, and then We'll run it to the freshwater tank, cut it, and do the same there. So the hose then comes down through the floor and connects to the bottom outlet of the water tank. The other hose runs across the length of the bus to the other side where the other tank is, and I'll try and show you sort of where I've run it now. So there we go. Water pumps in, up, and then there's our fresh water. Two tanks joining into one into the water tank. 
Okay, so from our water pump to everything else, we've, we're using John Guest pipe and pipe fittings. Uh, so this here is what, so this is a half inch BSP to John Guest. And apparently they just, if you push it in and then pull it out, that ensures it's locked. And then you can get optional locking clips, which I saw is definitely recommended that you do. And they just go around there like that. Now it can't move anywhere. I also got some of these which allow it to be a right angle without actually using a right angle um, connection. So this is going to come over here. I then have a one-way flow valve. So this will go here approximately because we're going to have mains water connection as well. We need one of these to make sure that the mains water doesn't come back into the, the pump and cause any issues. After that, I'm going to put a T piece. One will go into our mains connection, which I'll show later, and the other one will then feed off and start actually going into our uh, appliances. All right, so here's our water inlet mounted. Uh, it's a SureFlow water pressure regulator inlet, so it actually reduces the pressure to 50 psi, which is the exact pressure that our water tank says it needs to be uh, regulated to. If you don't have one that regulates it itself, you have to put a, you know, a pressure flow valve in, but this one regulates to 50 psi ourselves. Uh, you need to get a three quarter inch NPT to quick connect. Well, it doesn't have to be quick connect, but if you want to just attach a hose. Uh, we got this plastic one while I was having a look to make sure the thread size, I realized that it actually says don't get this for this particular inlet because the plastic might slip. So it recommends a brass one, so we'll have to get a new one, but just for display purposes, yeah, three quarter inch, quick connect hose, and then it just, yeah, screws into there. I don't want to go through it, but yeah. So we've just pop riveted it and silicon around it. We'll put another thing of silicon around the outside when we're done. Okay, so I've plumbed in our mains water connection. So this is it here, it goes up here into that and this is the, the plug of our mains. It's a half inch BSP to John Guest. So it comes in, this is a flow regulator. So it won't let the water go back, only come this way and go down into here. So now I've got to plumb a bit more into what's going to go to our appliances. So it's going to come into this T-joint. It's then going to go into this right angle bit, which will come up into our wash machine and then go off to our shower and whatnot. Then this one, right angle, is going to come back through here. I'll cut a notch into this wood and it's going to run over to our sink. All right, so this is the wiring for the water pump. So ours came, this red one here was disconnected. Uh, so I just looked it up and found that it goes in there. Then this one comes out, black wire comes out. And I've just attached them there. Then we've got a black cable that runs along. You know, it's a bit messy, you mind the mess. Along here. Then the negative goes up into our fuse block. And the red one goes off behind our kitchen. And let's go find it. Over to our switch which then has another positive wire that then goes back back past our kitchen over into the corresponding uh, positive of the fuse block and I've already put a water pump sticker on it because our fuse box came with a bunch of stickers now I've just got to put a fuse in it alright so it recommends a 5 amp fuse on the actual thing plug that in might be different if you've got the 12 volt version. Uh, our 24 volt is 5 amp. As far as wire size is concerned, we've just used um, some 15 amp automotive wire. I think that's about 14 AWG in the American standard. Might be 16. I'm not positive. Have a look, but everything that we buy is in like amp ratings. So it's definitely more than we need, but we pretty much just got 15 amp stuff to run everything. 
uh, just, yeah, so we knew we wouldn't have any issues. That's it for uh, the water pump install. Uh, as you saw, there's some electrical stuff that already happened that we haven't shown yet. Uh, so that'll be in probably the next video. I did a lot of the plumbing and the electrical side by side. So we'll get the water pump one up now and then the electrical one up next and then we'll show each individual appliance plumbing and electrical uh, sort of in their own videos or something like that. Uh, what I wanted to say and I'll just move the camera down to the water pump before I say it. Okay so it's really dark so as you can see this is how we change our tanks. We lift the bed up and then okay we've got a light. We have to turn the taps on or off depending on which tank we want to use. Uh, I installed it way too low so it makes it really hard we have to like really get in there to be able to turn it off or on uh, if I was to do it again install it up at this level uh, and then yeah wouldn't have any issues be heaps easier so the water pump can be installed 1.8 meters high and 9 meters horizontal from the water tank so I mean it can nearly be installed at the other end of the bus so you know not too hard on where to place it uh, we sort of placed ours nice and close. If you want to be able to pull from both tanks at the same time, uh, you've got to install a pump at the same distance away from both of them so that it pulls water at the same time. Otherwise, you'll have one empty before the other one and then it will start pulling air from that one and water and you'll have issues like that. So we always intended to just have one tank uh, open at a time. And that's why we have those valves there so we can close and open one depending on which one's open. Uh, so if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe and share. And until next time, thank you. Got the stupid hose stuck on the wrong goddamn end. I just wanted to make sure it fit. And how much it would take. And now it can't come off. But I wanted my, my hose thing to point up not point down. May not have much of a choice in a minute. No, I hate pointing down. To me it kind of indicates the flow. God damn it. Cut it off with a knife and yes it means that much to me that they're pointing the right way. Yeah, it's off. Uh, it's just, it's, 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 it's,